Okay, good, I got 19 minutes. I'm just watching The Simpsons again, because why not, before that, ugh, repeat of Femme Guy will come on again. I love The Simpsons way more than Femme Guy. You know, that's not the point of this topic. Hmm. It's like adults. Speaking of being an adult, I want to actually bring up a crucial topic because honestly, I want to come out clearly and just say what's actually on my mind of how guilty I felt what happened the other day, which is why a lot of people tend to watch my videos and they probably will click off. And not liking my videos, so to speak, which doesn't make sense. If you don't like someone, you keep watching them, which just creates drama, and drama is not attractive. Let alone just basically having a bad reputation. And I actually fixed my glasses. Yay, I'll show that in a minute. I'm actually cooking my um, six pack of pizza bites in the microwave. And this is supposed to be Totino's pizza rolls that, well, basically Casey, Casey um, has bought. Um, let's just say a while back, or I think it's been like almost a week ago since we actually supposed to have that for anime night, basically watching animes on Toonami, and I'm actually going to eat that as a little snack, and also, um, Dion, I think you put it in there for a minute and a half. I think a minute and a half would be enough? I don't know. I think I know it might be fine with a minute and a half, and I got two, um, dollars and 20 or 35 cents just to buy myself apple juice or something, and... Before I actually continue, um, sorry about that. I apologize and I get straight to the point. These are the, um, you know, spicy chicken nuggets I bought at the 99 cents store. Don't only for 50 cents each. 50 cents for this. That's pretty cheap. Honestly, I could get four packs of these only for two bones. Basically two dollars. Might as well just get those instead of just buying chicken nuggets that you gotta pay like four bucks for. Sorry about that. Um, let's see. Forget it. I'm trying to find where my glasses are. Here they are. Oh boy, I love The Simpsons. Sorry about that. I don't have a DVR. Um, basically, so my favorite part's coming up. I feel really guilty because of how I actually did have a little bit of a feud between Freddy, Smiley, and Lester in my live stream because they didn't understand what I was going through. And hold on, it's coming up. We got bigger problems. Father Mike! Danny Irish! Ugh, I think that's Irish, right? Fuck, I love that Ooh, part in the Simpsons moment. Alright, sorry about that. My ADHD is kicking in. The reason why I feel awful what actually happened in my, my live stream. I apologize. I, I have a bad habit. I get straight to the point of my videos. If you have not noticed already, at this, it, this is how my brain functions when it comes to breaking like funny introductions in my videos. Um. I feel bad because of how Freddy said that he wanted to play us Fallout 2 game, even though he said that he wanted to support me, and I felt like it was two-faced because of how he felt he has to support me when he got, when he could actually play this game in the first place, and I basically just had enough and had to block. I don't think I blocked him though. Yeah, I did, and he did un unsubscribe, which I'm really you know, glad to see that he actually, you know, made such a mature decision to do that because a lot of people, they would bother staying subscribed and not wanting to watch my videos as an excuse of basically just being inactive and not wanting my channel to have a great reputation, I suppose, or the right reputation and just basically just not being a sport and doing their part just to actually communicate with me so to speak it actually makes sense oh, the same thing for smart and lesser because well they don't really interact with me in my videos i know i'm expecting too much this is that it kind of felt horrible if I, if I had to explain what what i'm going through in my life and how they basically tend to not really see what's going on it gets a little bit hurtful even though lester he said that he watched some of my videos i don't know i just I just, I, I get a little bit exhausted when I had to keep repeating myself or what I actually have to do in my life or what's been going on and it just drains me because it's as though you're, you're giving me the message that, oh, Dion, I don't really care watching your videos, so you gotta repeat yourself or what are you going through? Like, why should I? Honestly, like, I explain it 
constantly and you basically are just being a little bit so centered of yourself of not wanting to interact with me as a viewer. That's it's really hurtful, in my opinion. Because the thing is, I love interacting with my viewers. It's just it just sucks of how I had to hear excuse after excuse after excuse that oh, you know, maybe um I'm just too busy watching other creators on YouTube or I'm actually playing Grand Theft Auto and I just don't want to hear your voice. Well then you shouldn't be watching my videos if you don't like them that much. It just hurts me and it hurts you as well because it just makes both of our mental states not great because there's like no connection and it's not healthy. That's actually maybe like holding a grudge for something. What I'm just trying to say in general is that I don't really, really appreciate people that subscribe for one thing on my channel and basically just leave. Like, okay, if you're basically subscribing to see more special subscriptions, that's great. Like, I would love to hear that, oh, you want to see more. Not just saying, oh, I subscribe to your channel. I hope to see more from you, and yet again, you just disappear. And this, I don't know. Uh, maybe I expected too much. I don't know. It's just that in, my, in, in the past, I had a lot of people saying, that, oh, I do love watching your videos, or I do care what you go through. Yet again, they say, do the next reaction of the Loud House or something. I like to do reactions, but if it's to the point that you only come here for the episode and not for me reacting to it and giving my thoughts and, you know, it's just basically expressing my emotions, aka, you know, this, like, ex um, express my personality, it, it sucks, it does. Basically, express my emotions, which means having a personality, not this, oh, I'm just here to watch the episode of the Thornsmore Corner. Honestly, like, it, that, that's why you got Kim Cartoon, you got Master Anime, one to three Anime, even though, um, oops, I actually hit myself. I forgot what the site is called, that, that, the old anime site that got closed down. I don't remember the name of it. It's been a long time. Um, it just doesn't make sense that you actually come to view a YouTube channel that may react to something just for the episode when, when it's such a small screen, when you can watch it in HD with no one just talking in the back. Like, there's no point to it. And another thing I don't really like as well is how people tend to like stare at my live streams which definitely gets me a little bit paranoid sometimes because I know that they like to film my my live streams which is why I get really anxious and also basically making videos about me and spreading false rumors. Especially there's this weird kid right that basically got my age wrong and just like looking at the live stream like he's just such a creep. Like he basically would just like like stare at this live stream. That's that's ready to actually record it and say something about me. Right? Well, I don't think he record, but let's just say he does use a disturbing thumbnail of me saying, Oh, Dion Garth the the racist creep. I'm just thinking, kid, what what are you doing with your life? Honestly, like you are not acting up you're not acting normal for your age. You're not. I'm not trying to be rude. Like not in a healthy way, so to speak. So that's why I don't like people that basically come to my channel to subscribe just to actually pretend to be a supporter just so that they can actually um, impersonate someone else basically being a cyberbullying catfish which means they would actually be someone else that's a cyberbullying me or just to actually harass me online and playing the victim that oh we didn't do anything wrong you did because you actually have your mental health issues you keep having your meltdowns well honestly i have meltdowns because it's just it takes a toll on you it does like dion these people don't understand that you know mental health is really important and i get really infuriated that i had to hear oh you're seeking attention or you need to seek help honestly if it was that easy a lot of people would not have commit suicide or been yet they would reach out for help. It's not that easy. Especially if you get shaped by your family or if you basically live in a country that mental health is um or mental illness is see fraud upon, like South Korea for example, or even Japan, that's why the suicide rate is really high. Or even if you basically are trans, for for example, because I chat with like a few trans people in the past and Boy, they go do a lot like I do. Especially since I'm asexual. Honestly, it's it's hard when people are saying, Oh, you should just like sex. Or you're just too childish. And you know, you need to try it. No, I don't. Honestly, I know who I am as a human being. At least part of who I am. That my sexuality, I don't like sex. I can fantasize, but it doesn't mean I'm going to do it. It's basically telling a straight man, He needs to have sex with a bi or gay man. No, he doesn't. Honestly, he likes women. It's that simple. I don't like sex. 
I like boys, but not for sex. Basically for emotions. That's why I am homo error ace. That makes sense. Honestly. If it's that if it's that complicated, all you have to do is just Google it and you'll figure it out, no problem. So I just want to share this because honestly, I feel awful that I basically removed those three. But it is for my own good, just so that I can actually just focus on what I enjoy uploading on my channel and not expecting people to basically just follow me just for one thing and leaving. Like I like having diversity. I should explain that sooner, I know, but I like diversity. I do. And if that bugs you, all you have to do is just being an adult, unsubscribe, or better yet, dislike one of my videos, maybe. That way you'd be less interested, or you won't be recommended to my videos as much. That's all there is to it. There's no sense of, oh, I'm going to keep coming back because I dislike to just, just rate like two months just to see the um, saying the F word. Fuck. There we go. And laughing about it. Honestly, you definitely have a lack of oxygen in your brain because you don't have the activity to move your body around. It's ridiculous. So I just had to share this because honestly, I just had enough backlash in the past and whatnot and it gets tiring. So I just wanted to spring this up and I definitely need to eat my piece of ice and I lose my appetite because of all the stress. I think they're kind of cold. Hot. 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 Well, okay, that one's warm. Warm. All right, it'll do. But other than that, I just wanted just to get this off my my chest. I know I've been uploading a lot, but honestly, like Dion, you should upload as much as you want. You, this is your channel. You have every opportunity to, to express your emotions and sharing whatever you want to share, as long as it doesn't like basically cause controversy, even though that may happen. But I feel comfortable too and that's all I have to say I just want to say because I enjoy sharing my, my my journey throughout this channel and making this as a diary just to look back on my videos as a creator on YouTube um oh yeah one thing that happened to me just to be off topic at the, the 99 cent store right just to push out what actually has happened um within like the past couple of days um I basically <clears throat> You know, had such a sweet encounter with one of the workers at the 99 Sound Store because she basically paid for the, I might do a review on those by the way, the orange um, hostess cupcakes that basically I wanted to get because they're only for a dollar because I thought they were 50 cents. And she basically said, Dan, or well, she didn't know my name of course, she just said, don't worry about it. And I just gave her the chance to actually have because I wanted to save that money just so that I can actually get a new battery for my phone. It sucks that my mom and I had to pay like $20 for it, but I, I need it so that I can actually feel better if I have to charge this all the time and turning off at 80 darn percent. And basically I just left and I just talked to her in Spanish. I just said, muchas gracias and atos blessed. Well, I speak Mexican Spanish. So, you know, like every um, Hispanic nation has their own dialect. But yeah, um, I speak Mexican Spanish if you're curious. And she was just really sweet. She has a huge heart for doing that. Like she saved me a dollar, honestly. One thing I, do, I am doing though, this is a way to actually um, save money, is that for all the change you have, whether that be basically quarters or dimes, heck, even nickels, so to speak, besides pennies, mostly, let's just say, um, I guess you could say quarters and nickels, right? Um, for like anything that you actually buy, if you actually, you know, pay on dollar bills and you get your change back, you would actually save them into basically, oh, this is heavy, your piggy bank. My brother, he actually pulled the change in here. I still got my little bag, by the way. And yeah, I don't know how much money of change I actually have in here. Probably the least, maybe $10. I don't know. I know it's quite a bit because I do have a lot of nickels and mix of dimes in here, if you actually can tell. So... That's basically what I decided to do. Um, you know, this for like rainy day emergencies because it does not rain here in Phoenix. It does, but like it's rare. So yeah, our rain doesn't last that long. It's like snow for us. We'll, like once it's gone, it's gone. So, I mean, well, it doesn't stick. It just evaporates. That's how hot it is. This is basically all the change that I actually have found um, on the ground. So I, I'm not kidding. This is, I kept track. This is like all the change I found in the ground. That's how 
rough you can get if you actually walk a lot like I do in the Grand Canyon State because we're known for copper and basically a little, um, you know, silly superstition. You basically would, would, you know, save a lot of money if you walk on foot because you have like probably like 10 times the chance to actually find pennies or even nickels on the ground or actually scratch that, dimes than probably any other state, give or take. Like, no kidding. That's why you, you see mostly here there are pennies, but also there's a couple um, quarters and there's um, a mix. I don't think there's any nickels. Yeah, I got a couple of nickels, but also um, a mix of dimes and a quarter. So that's really rare for me to actually find. And basically these rocks, I actually found them from Sedona when my neighbor and I, when we actually had to get Casey, just for, you know, serious reasons because of relationship problems of a, a psycho, not bring up his name, um, I basically decided to collect some rocks. So this is already from Sedona. So yeah, that's how big our state is. It's, di it's a different glo um, a different globe out there. Like, it's not like here in Phoenix. It's so much different. So it's weird. Like, we're big. It's like if you live in Russia, from Moscow, all the way to Yakuts, it's a big difference. Or at least from Sochi, Russia, one of the warmest places in Russia. If you visit Yakuts in the winter, big difference. Like, Sochi, okay, it's like you're living in Yakuts in the winter, but then in the summer, you won't even notice it's Yakuts. So, I just want to share that because I just want to, you know, do something uplifting. So, other than that, I just hope that y'all actually understand. You don't have to comment. You know, I prefer people to comment so I know what I'm doing something is right. It's just that with the lack of communication, it just, feel, it just feels that I'm not being taken serious. And it, it makes me feel hurt that, like, damn, these people are not watching videos and not listening. And they always... To, you know, tell you like why are you complaining and this is why people don't like you. Well, I just like to know like what I'm doing right on my channel or if I'm actually doing my best to communicate with people. That's what I'm trying to say. I know this seems a lot. It's just it like I'm serious. Like like not just flop up a video, upload it and yeah, I'm done. Like for me, it does get tiring if I want to make a thumbnail and then basically trying to think of a title to actually put and even wanted to live stream, but I'm not gonna be doing that for a while again. So I just wanted to like, just get that off my chest because I just hate like how like that kid, for example, would just st straight go to my channel, my live stream, and you know saying something nasty about me and not saying it right in front of me in my live stream, or but yet call me a pedophilic racist or something. It's really disturbing and really inappropriate of him to actually talk like that. And I I think that's him, and I had to block him. So, I just had enough of that. That's why I get like a little bit paranoid. Like, okay, people are watching, but they're clicking off because they probably hate me that much. They want to basically say, some, say something really hateful. I'm thinking like, why watch that? That's why I get a little bit paranoid. I hope that makes sense. That's why, for me, I have a lot of res respect for people that like take their time out of their, their day to comment on my videos. It means a lot. Like, you're a damn great person for that. Honestly, I hate sounding like I'm so stressed out because I am stressed out. I want this stress to go away and be back to my, you know, normal, damn geeky self. I don't know, so to speak. You know, because that's what I want, but apparently people like to draw me. Like, honestly, you're a toxic human being. You're not going to poison me mentally. No, you can stay poisoned in your damn brain to the point you get sick. I don't want I don't want to get infected. No, thank you. It's bad enough we're we have COVID. I want to get that COVID mentality around you. No, thank you. What I mean by that is you just bringing so much negativity or even like come in contact with me. I don't know if that makes sense. I gotta eat my, my piece of bites. <sighs> you know what? I, I need a break. I'm so gonna go out back out later on tonight when my video gets done and watching The Simpsons. Oh, that's supposed to be that um, 16 bit couch gag. I forgot what it's called though. Oh boy. I got bad quality here. Sorry about that. 